Hey all, as you can see this sign says Casperson Beach ADA Beach Access Ramp. But, as you can probably also see, there's quite a bit of caution tape here and there used to be a sign that said Boardwalk Stairs Closed Until uh, Storm Damage Has Been Assessed and Repaired. Well, something happened to the sign. But it, it had been this way for several months. Actually, uh, it is April now when I'm recording this video. And this has been, the ADA ramp has been closed since at least October. That's when I got down to Florida this year. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I have to do instead, which is go that way, all the way down there, with my wheelchair, all the way down and back if I want to go on the beach here. So I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to get a different camera person because I'm holding the camera right now and then you can see what that's like. He has to go a hundred yards in the sand with his wheelchair. If, if the ramp was fixed, he'd save all that trip. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Okay. Hey there, YouTubers. So I just wanted to add a little bit uh, to the end of the video you just saw. First, uh, I wanted to mention that the path that you saw me going over at the end there, that's all sand. There's, I think there's rock, uh, maybe a foot or a, a little bit around a foot under the sand, but man, that in, in most areas that sinks down uh, quite a bit and you'll notice that's why I had my front wheels up as much as possible so I was doing this you can so I was popping wheelies basically almost the entire time uh, because it was easier to push on the back wheels than on the front ones um, so that was one of the things I wanted to mention also I wanted to mention I'm sure you're wondering why I had pla white plastic bags. These are actually just regular garbage bags um, on my wheelchair. And the reason for that, I have to remember to look at the camera, not look at me. Um, <laughs> the reason for that is um, initially I thought, geez, this is going to be a good idea to keep my wheelchair seat in the back of my wheelchair uh, cool because the sun, when the sun's out man it hits the black seat and the black back of the chair that gets very hot so it's like okay put this white bag on sometimes I put um, uh, a plain white t-shirt on the seat to keep it cool but the bag actually works better because it does keep the seat cool and the back of the chair cool but it also and this was an unintended uh, thing it kept the sand from going on all over my chair when I got off of the beach um, so anyway I just wanted to mention those two things um, as I said the uh, the ADA accessible ramp has not been in working order for several months 
And I mentioned it during the video that it, I, I got down in October of this year, but I meant to say October of last year, 2018. Um, also, I'm going to attach the actual full sign uh, that said why the um, ramp was not in service. Um, you notice at the beginning of the video, it, there was only a partial sign because something happened to it. But I have a picture of that, so I will add that to the end of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next. For, no, no, no. See. You. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>I bet you thought that was the end of the video, or maybe not because you saw there was a little bit of time left. Anyway, sorry, I forgot to mention one thing, and that is, uh, so you just saw the picture that I mentioned, and you, I guess you saw there's a phone number on that full sign. Um, so I did, I have called that phone number three times actually. Uh, the first time there was an answering machine, but I did not leave a message. The second time there was an answering machine and I left a message. The third time I was able to talk with someone, but they didn't have any information for me. So um, I gave them my phone number and they said I would receive a call back with more information. However, I never got a call back. So um, basically, um, and oh, I, you know what? There's something else I would love to tell you about and I will do that. I'm just gonna pause for one second. All right, I'm back. So uh, I just had to pause because I posted about this on my Facebook page uh, and I wanted to re relate it to you all, but I wanted to make sure I got it right and not make any mistakes. So on the, on the same lines of that sign and the ramp that's not uh, in working order, um, a couple of days ago I went to the beach uh, by myself, I wasn't with anyone and um, I was pushing along on that really difficult uh, path of sand and somebody was, was walking alongside me and said to me they noticed I was struggling and the person said well they don't make it easy to get on the beach do they and I said no especially considering the ADA accessible ramp is closed and the other person said yeah I noticed it's been closed for months and I said, yes, at least since I got down here on October, I called three times, left a message once and talked with someone once who said I'd get a call back with more information about when it would be reopened, but no one ever got back to me. And the person said, we need to be better about making things accessible. And I said, eh, I'm used to it. And he said, you shouldn't have to be. You shouldn't have to be used to it. Um, so yeah, bottom line, I am used to it and it doesn't really bother me that much. It would be nice if the ramp did work, but, uh, you know, I deal with it. I get on the beach a different way. It's tougher, but that's just kind of how things are sometimes. Okay. This time I swear it's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.